inevitable. It's always inevitable when a film comes out that's a little bit polarizing. Recently I reviewed a couple popular films, Eternals and Ghostbusters Afterlife, and I gave them less than glowing reviews. While I didn't outright hate either of them, I did have a large amount of issues with both, and I probably would never watch them again, and I kind of wish they didn't exist. But all the same, I said I can see why people like them, and I appreciated some of the things they tried that were different from other films, but this leads to a string of comments online by people that think they know me better than I know myself. And guess what some of them have determined? They cracked the Da Vinci Code that is my brain. It turns out, I hate movies. You could only imagine my surprise when I heard this one. I mean, it was news to me. Here I thought, I'm a movie fan who just likes talking about films and giving my honest takes. But no, I have some secret agenda to make you hate movies as well. Wow, uh, I, I had some soul searching to do and I even went back on my channel to look at what was going on and man, I was even more surprised to find out I had more positive reviews than negative ones, even as of late. I did a review on Till Death starring Megan Fox and I said it was surprisingly all right. A Megan Fox movie, exclusively on Netflix, I said was all right. I followed up with a video praising Speed Racer for no reason. Is Speed Racer trending? Is there a, a topic here that I'm jumping on? No! I just really liked the movie and thought, I want to talk about this again. Speed Racer's awesome. It doesn't get enough love. Okay, so you had a movie you love and a movie that was mediocre that you said was fine to watch. Well, you certainly aren't going to keep this going, right? Now you're going to start scorching earth and showing people how much you hate movies. No! I saw One Night in Soho and said it was great, but had a disappointing ending, still recommending people go to it. Because even the worst movie by the director of Scott Pilgrim vs. The World is better than most of the stuff coming out these days. Well, the next video was Eternals and all bets were off. I thought it was mediocre as hell, I had tons of issues, so I guess that translates to Adam hates the film, which is bizarre because in my comments, people were way meaner way more harsh on the movie than even I was. But maybe that was the turning point. For the last decade, I've been kind of just soft on films and now I'm a, a full-blown villain. Now is when I have my origin story and hate everything. Well, the next film I talk about is Red Notice, the Netflix exclusive. And I said once again, it was all right. It's kind of a been there, done that, but it does have some twists and turns that makes it watchable. Okay, so. Not a stellar glowing review, but not hating it, not scorched earth. Completely run of the mill. Weird. You know, oh, you know what? I forgot about Home Sweet Home Alone. I hated that film with the passion of a thousand raging suns. No excuses here. That movie's god awful bad, and I will not defend anyone who likes it. It's really bad. You have horrible taste if you like that film. And you know what? I'm perfectly fine with that. And then there's that Spider-Man trailer reaction I did and I was not happy about it. I said, this doesn't look good. This isn't wowing me. That's me being a contrarian. I'm trying to be different to rile up views and get the internet chatting. This guy doesn't like Spider-Man? How dare he? No, that can't be true. He's lying. He just wants views. He couldn't possibly think something in the MCU isn't perfect or glorious. He's gotta be some sort of a grifter. Wow, two sour videos in a row. We better keep the hate train going and talk about Ghostbusters 2. Oh wait, I loved that movie and said so for like 15 minutes, doing almost nothing but praising it, but respecting people's opinions about why they might not. Amazing how a critic could listen and maybe see both sides of an opinion and not just call people liars or fakes. But then that Ghostbusters Afterlife review comes out and suddenly he's a snake again. Hates films, hated Ghostbusters Afterlife even though he said multiple times that it was just not for him, but he could see why others liked it. Truly the sign of a person that hates films and Hollywood, which is also kind of bizarre because I constantly defend Hollywood. I think it's an amazing, amazing place. It's like the fucking North Pole to me. There's like elves working there around the clock making magic. And then you have other people saying, Hollywood's woke, Hollywood sucks, they're just SJW, blah, 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 blah. Sure, maybe some of that's happening. Maybe a lot of that's happening. I don't care. People go through phases. Hollywood's not just one person. It's many people who have all collectively decided, I guess, that maybe we should push more representation. 
maybe some of us should shove it down people's throats and annoy them, but that's not the entirety. That's just individuals or groups thinking about that. But when the film comes out, that's what I'm interested in. And I defend it still because guess what? I love movies. I love going to movies, talking about them, reviewing them. And when I give something a critical eye or say this didn't work for me or I'm really bummed out, actually physically in pain about a movie not working for me, it's not because I'm pretending, it's because I love film. I respect and appreciate good scripts. I know what I love and I know what's working and I know why they're doing things they're doing and I want to express it. I want to make it clear to people that this is how I think and these are the things I believe about movies and I hope that maybe someone can look at it and say, you know what, maybe, just maybe he has a point. I know I can be cynical on movies. I know I can be judgmental on the process. I also know there's a lot of basic bitches out there that don't watch a lot of movies. There are people that just like to get away for a couple hours and have fun and laugh or cry or get scared. Those are the people that aren't watching this review. They don't care. I would never join a book club because I don't read enough books to really truly respect and appreciate what makes a novel good. And I certainly wouldn't be able to speak to it with any sort of coherency. I'd look like an asshole. But movies, I get movies. I've seen so many of them. I used to bike to the theater after school. I'd wait in lines for hours. I would pre-buy my tickets months ahead of time. I would stay up till midnight just to see the opening of a film I love. I would miss school. I would take off work just to go to some big events. And these assholes online have the audacity to say I don't like movies. Fuck you. I love them. Do you think a food critic hates food? Or do you think that their palate is so refined that they can tell when something isn't up to the standards that they have set? I have family and friends that maybe only see 20 movies a year and haven't seen a massive catalog of older classics. They like pretty much everything they watch. Some people in the comments might be like that and fair enough, but I'm not talking to you. You are basic when it comes to movies. You're playing Halo for the first time and you're immediately just going for the rocket launcher. You don't know how to use the weapons available. You don't know the details. You don't know the intricacies of filmmaking or writing or acting or how to move a story throughout the structure. You are basic. Get off my channel. I don't want you here. Or shut your goddamn mouth and let me educate you. Learn something. Hey, maybe Adam's not just bitching for the lulls. Maybe there's some truth to what he's saying and he's just trying to entertain all the same because it's hard to get an audience on YouTube without a little bit of pageantry, isn't it? Man, I really triggered you with this comment, didn't I, Adam? You made a whole video about it. No, I don't lose an ounce of sleep over you. You're not special. You're a pathetic, infinitesimal little man. Or woman, it's usually men though, they're kind of dicks online. They, they try to feel like they're tough, puff themselves out. I would murder you if I saw you and you said that to my face. I have a family, I have a job, I have hobbies outside of this. Your little puny comment is garbage to me, but it gives me a topic of conversation, so sure, I'll roll with it. It's kind of like a batting average in baseball. Sometimes Hollywood hits it out of the park. We might get a Forrest Gump, Shawshank Redemption, Pulp Fiction year, or we might get a Space Jam 2, Venom, Let There Be Carnage, and Eternals. It's hard to know. I did state I like to see things from both viewpoints though, so I will say this. It's easy to get caught up in the anger. It's easy to get caught up in the rage. It's easy, it's far easier to make videos going off on something or beating a movie into the ground like so many people have done, including myself from time to time. But don't let a couple of videos or weeks even determine an entirety of a person and his channel. Because after 10 years, I can guarantee I have far more positive reviews on this channel than negative. Usually, I don't even go to a movie if I know it's gonna be bad. Now, because of streaming services like Netflix, Hulu, HBO Max, and whatnot making movies, I'm already paying for the service, I don't have to leave and spend more money. There's gonna be probably more negative reviews on this channel, basically because 
I don't have to take a gamble. The movie's there, I'll watch it, I'll give it a shot. I'm only losing time, I'm not losing extra funds. So yeah, there might be an uptick in negative reviews. But the positive there is I'm seeing more films and I'm hoping for those diamonds in the rough. I'm still not watching movies to hate on them. Like that's maybe 5%. Like Emoji Movie for instance, I knew it was gonna be garbage, but my daughter wanted to see it. So I thought, all right, I'll waste the money and I'll have fun bitching about it afterwards. It didn't disappoint. But again, for the most part, yeah, I want the movie to be great. Ralph Breaks the Internet? I was so looking forward to that. What a piece of shit. After Wreck-It Ralph being amazing. What a disappointment. That's what I'm talking about. Should I just pretend Ralph Breaks the Internet's great because I like the first one and people think that it's fun to like things? No! Go somewhere else. Thanks for the negative comments and for telling me how I am and that I don't like movies. You are a moron if you're one of those people. Maybe you had a bad day, or you were offended that I didn't like a movie you liked. It would be so sad if you and I agreed on every movie we ever watched. Why would you even want to watch a critic like that? We agree all the time. Isn't this fun? It's basically like listening to myself. Then just listen to yourself. I think I said more than enough. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't and hit the notification bell so these videos show up. If you are a subscriber, sometimes they just get hidden away and that's just a sad thing. Uh, you can like the video if you agreed or had some fun and entertainment here. If you didn't, that's fine. Dislike it or comment about how it was a bad video and I, I won't, I, I won't uh, hate you for it. It's okay, we all have opinions. And with that, I'll take my leave and head over to my computer and check on the new comments, see if there's anyone else that's pissing me off today. <laughs> take care. Hey, thanks again for watching the video. Did you know I'm also on Patreon at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies and you can sign up for just $1 a month. Or if you're feeling extra generous, you can join right here on YouTube via that join button and become a YouTube member for $4.99. It's a way to say, Adam, I love your passion you're putting into these videos. I understand you're doing it alone. You have a family, you have a job. It's a lot of work and you're putting out a lot of great content. And I'm even stumbling now because it's late and I've recorded a couple of these. So yeah, it, it's tough. Help me out if you can. If not, hopefully I'll just see you around. Take care.